I've been writing about the gifts encoded or the medicine or the vaccine encoded within the coronavirus. And this is one way of actually sort of unfolding exactly what I'm trying to say. Here we are, you know, being forced to socially isolate, but it's actually, it's, it's showing us our interconnection, you know, experientially. So like more and more people are, are having the realization that we don't exist as separate selves, that we don't exist in isolation from each other, that we're actually all on the same side, that we're all interconnected and interdependent. We depend on each other for our very survival and well-being. And, and that's, to, so in other words, with all of the incredible stress and anxiety, you know, that, that we're feeling and tension, if we don't get caught by the fear, that's the danger, that's the, the mental vector that the coronavirus is transmitting. There's the physical symptoms, but then there's the mental aspect of it, which is the fear. If we don't get caught by that fear, because there's this incredible energy available, we're all in shock. We're in an extreme collective state together. What I'm saying is that it's even more, it's easier to recognize the dreamlike nature because things are so surreal. And yeah. when you recognize the dreamlike nature, that is to recognize that we're dream characters in each other's dream. By being a dream character, what that means, we're actually reflections. We're embodied reflections of each other, which is to say we're not separate. Right. That's, and that's to see through the separate self. That's the major disease of our species, is that we imagine we're separate. The coronavirus is actually, that's the hidden gift. It's showing us that. And by showing us that, it's actually showing us that this dream we're sharing is, is like this malleable dream. And w which means we have a hand in creating it, and actually two hands in creating it, and which is basically showing us that we ourselves are the dreamer. We ourselves have incredible creative power, you know, to actually create our experience of the world. And that's, by the way, that's what quantum physics is showing us. I wrote a book about quantum physics where I'm saying quantum physics, the revelations emerging from quantum physics, they're the medicine for the, the um, collective psychosis, for the madness that we're suffering from. But this and is so the medicine now, right? We are in the medicine. And would you say that we it's collect- a It's a quantum situation in that, you know, the coronavirus or Watiko, it's both the deepest poison. It can kill us or it can awaken us. It can be the medicine, but being quantum, just like light, is it a wave or a particle? It depends how it's observed, how this, you know, pandemic manifests as a lucidity stimulator that's gonna help us to evolve or as an incredible nightmare that's like destroying us, it's up to how we dream it. It's up to if we recognize what's being revealed to us.